Right, I'm at Doddington Church now. I'll let you know the name of it in a minute. Looked like it did have bells once. There's holes there where the bells would have been. I don't know if this is... It's All Saints Church, yeah, All Saints. It says it there, look. Fortunately, it's opened up. There's the font. With its nice wooden carved cap. There's a nice look. Made out of um, corn and that look. Like a corn doll, only it's a, like a lantern. I've seen a few of them. Looks like a very old ceiling with some rosettes and wooden carvings set in the beams up there. This is the last church tonight. I've done very well really to have um, managed to get here as well. You can find out more online about the church than that they don't tend to leave many leaflets these days. This is a very wide one, isn't it? Let me just pull my trousers up a minute. They're falling down. Hold on a sec. I've got them loose because it's tight around my stomach while I'm cycling if I have it done up tight. I'm a bit scruffy today. There's something called Doddington House over there. Somebody doing some gardening. They say they don't have um, a congregation anymore, you see. That's what used to pay for it all in the past. It's all becoming... It may be awful after a thousand years for these places to deteriorate, wouldn't it? Warning. Look, for example, look, the side chapel floor is unsafe. So you're not really supposed to go in here. Looks like a little chapel. Doesn't it? That looks like a wasp's nest. What is that? Oh, it's some sort of draft thing. That was a wasp's nest. It's very sad, isn't it, this one? If you've only got a hundred residents in the village, they probably spent more on getting the fire extinguisher than anything, haven't they? Big safe with no, nothing in it. Nothing would be showing up. I think it'd be pretty dark in this um, video, to be quite honest. I don't know where the lights are. Oh, there they are, there. Let me just see if it makes a difference. Oh. No, I don't want that one. I want that one. No. That one? Yeah. Just makes a bit of difference. I've just put the lights on for a second. So you can see that chandelier made out of grasses and wheat. Nothing left really. I've just come back in here just so that how it's deteriorating. Sad really, isn't it? Little piscinas up. I don't even know if this church is used, I'm not quite sure. Does this Bible belong to anybody in the past? It feels very damp, very mouldy. <coughs> Hanging on, uh, there's nobody to love it anymore. That's what does happen with these little churches. You can tell that there's no little woman in the in the village that does the does the covers for the, the simple things. There's a few flowers, there is somebody. 
What's that say? This is a place where prayer is what to be made, a house which by his presence Christ makes a home. Our courteous Lord will that shall be as homely with him as heart may. But let us reward that we beware that we take not so something homelessness as a yeah can't quite read it but I'll take a picture of it and I can read it when I got my glasses on yeah it looks very sad this church very very sad this is probably one of the saddest ones I've seen for a while I mean you've got Puxton but that is kept like that on purpose and it is actually cared for this one might be all I know it might be as well If anyone sees me walking around this bloody great hat on there, I don't know who's in here, won't them? I'll just do the usual tour around. You never know, I might recognise somebody, might I? You just have to check it out. It's not very clear at all, that one. Browning. There's a great big tomb here. See, if this was um, August now, it'd be flipping wasps everywhere. Can't read who that is. It's a big old barn next door that's also looking derelict. And there's another big house up there, look. This might be the rectory. That's a funny name, isn't it? In loving memory of William Henry Fewings, who fell asleep June 29, 1929, eight, aged 55. Also Cyril, youngest son of the above, who died 1940, aged 30. Also loving memory of Mary Jane Fewings, January the 2nd, 1949, aged 79. And this, uh, that could be the rectory through there that looks like a, a type of rectory doesn't it the, the local mansion yeah I would have thought that's the rectory there I just take another bit of video around the back here looking out for souvenirs of course as well uh, right Time to switch that off, take some photos and head home.